Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple key and door system for your top-down adventure games. Um, so here we are. I've got my nice wall down the middle of my tile map. And I've got a door, but we can't go through the door at the moment. Uh, so step one to let us through the door, we're going to need a key. So if you hop onto your tile map, and you go... Oh, I'm just going to use this little green orb ball thingy. But you can use it if you want. You could draw your own key if you'd like as well. I'm just going to plonk it on my tile map. The next step is to actually create the key. So you're going to have to go down to functions. This is in, under the advanced section. Click make a function. And I'm just going to call it key. Next, go back into functions and drag in call key. Just put it in your on start block. Next, go into sprites and drag out the set my sprite to sprite of kind player, just the usual stuff. And change player to, oh, I've got one here. Click add new kind and call it key or green key or whatever you like. And I'm just going to use the orb again, but you could use a piece of pizza, you could use a character, you could use it if you'd like. You could draw your own key. There we are. Next, go into loops and drag up this four element value of list and drop that. And make, make sure to put this um, set my sprite inside it. Next, go into scene, and scroll down until you find array of all blank locations, and drag that in where it says list up here. You're going to have to go into scene twice more. We need two more blocks out of here. We'll need the set blank at tile map. Column zero, row zero. And just drag in value where it says tile map, column zero, row zero. And switch, I'm going to switch this to match up with my background, which is just this. Um, I don't know what it's called, like purple spotty stuff. Um, oh, important part I missed. Up here where it's got the blank, you'll need to select your placeholder for your key or just your key whatever you've used in your tile map yeah. next go into scene and you're going to find this place my sprite on top of tile map column zero by zero drop that in change it to whatever your key sprite is called mine's called my sprite 2 so put it there and drag value in where it says tile map. So now, if we go down here, our key should be here. And it's a sprite now, so you can check this by walking under it. If you walk through it and your sprite goes under it, that means it's worked. <laughs> um, next, and this is the last step to make your key let you through the door. Go into sprites and scroll down until you find this on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind player. Drag that out. And change player down the end here to key, which is what we've called our uh, sprite. Next, go into sprites and drag out this uh, destroy my sprite block and drag other sprite where it says my sprite next go into loops and drag out this four element value of list block again
Now go into scene and grab out this array of all locations and select from here whatever your door is. So mine was the green wall from our tile map. Go back into it. Yeah, so my door is this green wall here. So that's what I will select down here. I can go into scene and the last step to get it to work is grab this set wall off at tile map column zero row zero. Drag that in and put value where it says tile map. So now if I walk into the wall, I can't go through it. But if I grab the key, I can now walk through the wall. Uh, another thing you can do is you can, now where it says set wall off, you can also go back into scene and grab the set blank at tile map column zero row zero. You can drag that out, put a value where it says tile map, and you can change this to whatever you'd like. So now when we go into the game, when I pick up the little key, the door will disappear. Now I can walk through it again. So I thought that was also a cool way to do it. It's up to you how you do it. You can either make it so you can walk through the wall after that, or you could just make the wall disappear. But either way, I'll show you the last bit that cuts the code again. So all this is doing is bringing in the key as a sprite. And then this here is whenever a player touches the key, it will get rid of the key and then turn all of the uh, door locations uh, into the same as the floor and it will turn the wall there off. And that's all the code's really doing. Um, so I'll show you one more time. You can't go through, pick up the key, the wall disappears and you can go straight through. So hope you guys find that useful in your games, and I will see you next time. Bye.